Hi, this is Jesper, and I make videos on YouTube for technology professionals who want to make a difference. Arguably, nothing is more important than communication, especially for technology professionals, because if we communicate with clarity, we create better outcomes. The communication difficulties between business and technology professionals is a recurring subject in many of my videos, where I talk about using a business architecture approach to translate business goals and strategy into technology goals and strategy. Yet fundamental to the successful use of any approach is a consistent understanding and use of language. And with the inherent complexity of information technology, terminology has evolved to sometimes communicate only subtle differences. But these differences are not always appreciated, and there are terms that are especially important to technology professionals that are often incorrectly used. These are terms that describe and translate how business works to build technology solutions. The most common misused terms in my experience are framework, architecture, methodology, and blueprint but I've also included another four that are also sometimes misunderstood, which are system, model, design, and infrastructure. I will explain the meaning of each term in detail and how it relates to other terms, followed by an IKEA metaphor to give a practical example. And a disclaimer, just in case. Yes, I do own IKEA furniture. And no, I do not own IKEA shares. And no, they do not give me free meatballs for lunch in exchange for being part of my video. So where do we start? Why not start from the top with the one thing that all terms describe, but from different angles? At the top sits the system. A system is all the related parts and rules that form a unified whole. Or put in simple terms, the system is everything. All other terms like framework and architecture describe different aspects of a system. In our IKEA metaphor, the system will be a product. And in this case, the Billy bookcase which is an old childhood memory of mine. Let's unpack the different terms used to describe a system, starting with architecture. I'm an enterprise architect, and like many architects and non-architects, I like using the word architecture. But architecture means something specific. An architecture defines the structure, components, functions and interactions of a system. An architecture is a high-level abstraction, or a summary, if you will, of a whole system and does not define specific details of the system. The architecture of our IKEA product, Billy, is a schematic that describes the structure, components, part and function. The next term is model, which also means something specific. A model is an implementation or an instant of an architecture. It describes the working parts of a system. In simple terms, a model describes how something works, whereas an architecture describes how something is put together. The model of our IKEA product, Billy, is a photo which is an implementation of the Billy schematic. By looking at it, you understand how it works. Let's do a quiz to test your understanding so far. Architecture and model walked into a bar. After the first drink, architecture says to model, I'm glad we could get together and instantiate some fun. Did you get it? You don't have to think it's funny. If you didn't get it, go back and re-listen to the video. If you got it, but didn't think it funny, you are okay and a well-adjusted human being. If you got it, but found it just a little bit funny, like I do, you probably need help. Watching my videos might make it worse. 
Next comes the framework, another beloved word by architects. A framework is a set of tools, libraries and best practices that provide the foundation for building a system. Whereas the architecture describes what parts are needed, a framework describes how to build it. The framework of Billy describes everything needed to put Billy together. The term methodology, less liked by architects, but much loved by the PMO, also means, not surprisingly, something specific. A methodology is a set of methods and principles for building a system. Put in simple terms, the framework describes the tools and the methodology describes how to use the tools and in what order to produce a final product. Yeah. The methodology of Billy in the instruction manual. A design is a process or outcome of configuring a system. In our IKEA example, the design of Billy would be the different styles and colors. Blueprint is another term that causes confusion. A blueprint is a plan or specification for building a system and can be thought of as a combination of a framework and methodology. The blueprint of Billy is a specification for manufacturing it. For example, what kind of wood to use. Let's do another quiz. Do you get this one? What did the framework say to the blueprint when they got back together? You're the only blueprint for me. Oh, that one is really bad. I have to confess, I used ChatGPT4 and Bard to come up with the jokes. My own jokes are much better. And the last term is infrastructure which describes the physical components and resources that make up a system. So the infrastructure for Billy could be the showroom where it is displayed. Are you clear on all the definitions? Or a bit confused, like entering an IKEA showroom, changing your mind halfway through and trying to find a quick way out? Let's use an example more aligned to the technology industry. My fictitious organization, the Mental Health Association, wants to replace their CRM. They want to get it right and have asked us to define our terms in the context of developing a new CRM. They have also asked for an example deliverable for each term. So let's re-unpack each term. The system is a CRM itself. The other terms each describe a dimension of the system, in this case, a dimension of the new CRM. The CRM architecture describes the functions and components of the CRM and how they interact. For example, one common deliverable in an architecture is a landscape diagram, which typically shows applications, the integrations, and the data payload in between applications. A model is an implementation or instantiation of a system, and for a CRM, a typical model is a data model which describes the CRM data and its relationships with other data. A CRM framework could describe the areas a CRM needs to cover, both business and technical, for example, a CRM functional decomposition. A CRM methodology describes how to build the CRM, for example, using an Agile and DevOps approach. A design is a configuration of a system. For example, a CRM database design is a physical configuration of a CRM data model. This CRM blueprint is a functional and non-functional specifications and the design and has the details needed to build the CRM. It combines the required dimensions or components for building a system. The CRM infrastructure is everything needed to operate the system. 
A SAS CRM requires less infrastructure as servers and databases are in the cloud and managed by the software vendor. I hope this has clarified your understanding of common technology terms like architecture and framework. And if you enjoyed the video, please support me by liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care till then.